For players who wish to enjoy a smooth gameplay experience in Skyrim while using numerous mods, frame rate becomes a crucial factor. Low frame rates can disrupt the flow of the game and lead to screen stuttering. To address these issues, I've created a video to inform you about which mods you can disable to improve your frame rate. Unlike previous videos, today's content will focus on identifying mods in Skyrim that significantly reduce frame rates. Additionally, I'll share with you, based on my personal experience, the methods to deactivate specific mods for enhancing both frame rate and performance. Before watching, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let me talk about the Tree Edition mode. I don't know if it's because of the unique engine of the Elder Scrolls games, but the frame rate of the field is especially low. This means that the game runs slower and less smoothly in the open areas. Despite this, players tend to install a lot of tree mods to enhance the visual appearance and realism of Skyrim. However, you should know that these trees consume a lot of resources in the field, such as memory and CPU power. And the more trees you place in the field, the lower your Skyrim frame rate will be, and you may experience a lot of lag or stuttering when loading the field cells, which are the basic units of the game world. In fact, if you have enough grass in your Skyrim field, it's okay to have fewer trees. Grass can also create a natural and immersive atmosphere without affecting the performance too much. Especially around Whiterun, it was originally a tundra area, so it makes sense to have grass only. On the contrary, if there are too many trees, they may block the player's view and prevent them from seeing what's far away, such as mountains, buildings, or enemies. Changing the existing tree models to make them look better may be fine, but the mods that place a lot of trees in the field will significantly lower your Skyrim frame rate. Moreover, trees are related to LOD, which stands for Level of Detail. LOD is a technique that reduces the complexity of objects that are far away from the player to save resources and improve performance. The more trees you arrange, the more tree LODs will be generated based on that when you run Dindalod, which is a tool that creates high-quality LODs for Skyrim. However, this also means that the field frame rate will drop further, because the game has to render more objects in the distance. Especially if you set Dindalod to high quality, this frame rate drop will be worse, so if you think the field frame rate is too low and there are too many trees in the field, please reduce the number of mods that add trees and use the Dindalod program again based on this to create optimized LODs. In fact, reducing the tree mode and optimizing Dindalod only can significantly improve the field frame rate, so I highly recommend this method to you. The following is about improving the frame rate by optimizing SMP or physics effects. SMP and physics effects are elements that enhance the graphics of the game, but they also lower the frame rate. SMP is a script-based physics simulation technology used in Skyrim mods, which realistically displays the movement of clothes, hair, etc. Physics effects are features that apply physical laws such as collision, destruction, gravity, etc. in the game, creating similar physical effects to the real world in the game. Although this does not increase the graphic quality, it makes the game itself more realistic. However, these features can burden the game's performance, causing large frame drops or fixed frames. Therefore, to increase the frame rate, it is better to reduce the outfits or hair with SMP and physics effects as much as possible, and if you have to use them, it is better to use them by optimizing the physics effects at least. Even if you use a wig with physics effects, it is better to use a frame-friendly wig, and if you just take a character picture or use it for appreciation, you can use a lot of outfits with many physics effects. But if you want a smooth gameplay, it is better to use a frame-friendly physics outfit. It is also good to find a way to optimize SMP by using mods such as FSMP or FSMP-MCM together with SMP. The following is the optimization for city and city outskirt. Actually, this depends on your computer specifications whether you need to optimize or not, 
But if your city and city outskirt frames are not enough for what you want, it is better to delete the expansion mods installed in city and city outskirt. Of course, everyone would want to use the expansion mods for city and city outskirt. However, installing a mod means paying for quality in terms of frames. If you don't have any frames left in city and city outskirt because of that act, the way to get the frames back is to remove the city and city outskirt expansion mods. Especially, the low frame section of Skyrim is city and city outskirt. When the player character enters this section, the frame suddenly drops when looking at a certain point, so it is especially important to optimize this section. Dungeons or forts rarely have low frames. However, city and city outskirt have a lot of frame drops, so you need to pay attention to the optimization for this place. If you still want to use the city and city outskirt expansion mods, it might be better to add mods that add small villages to other places. Moving on, let's delve into follower mods. Followers contribute vibrancy to your adventures, but their impact on your computer's performance can be significant. When you have an excessive number of followers or outfit them with physics-heavy clothing and accessories, such as wigs, it can lead to a noticeable decrease in your computer's frame rates. This is especially true for followers that heavily rely on scripts, as they can place a strain on your computer's resources. If you find that your Skyrim experience is marred by considerable frame rate drops due to followers, it is recommended to consider reducing the number of followers you have. Keep in mind that the optimal number of followers can vary from person to person. Conducting tests with different follower setups will allow you to easily gauge the impact on frame rates and overall performance. <laughs> Lastly, let's discuss interface optimization. In Skyrim, we enhance the interface through various interface mods, including health bars, follower health bars, hotkey widgets, a clock, 3D item information, and more. However, occasionally, excessive use of high-resolution textures in interface mods or sudden appearances of these elements can lead to frame rate drops. In such cases, it's advisable to reassess the interface mods you've installed in the past, particularly focusing on those that may cause a significant drop in frame rates. There could be interface mods, ranging from hotkey mods with heavy scripting to widgets that display excessive information, putting a strain on your computer in real time. While appropriately used interfaces can provide valuable information, it's essential to keep in mind that using an excessive number of interfaces can also be a cause of frame rate drops. In conclusion, We've explored various optimization measures to enhance the frame rate and performance of your Skyrim. I want to re-emphasize that achieving higher quality often comes at the expense of frame rates. I encourage you to reassess how many frames you have remaining and strive to regain them appropriately. I hope you enjoy a more pleasant Skyrim experience, and I wish to remind you to prioritize the balance between quality and performance. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, liking, and enabling notifications. Additionally, supporting through Patreon greatly aids in video production. Until the next video, farewell and see you soon.